You okay? Do you want to go inside? Inside? Uh, He's like, no, he they does. want food. In a world where your weenie dog <laughs> wants to go inside. Fritzy. Fritzy, Ew. I got crackers in my cleavage. That's a band name. Crackers in my cleavage. Please welcome to the stage, Crackers in my cleavage. Ha <laughs> ha. In a world where your weenie dog wants back in the studio. In a world where your father comes in carrying a laundry basket. In a world where your husband does his laundry so he can hurry and leave you. In a world where all four of your dogs have come into the studio to try to take your crackers. All three of them. Fritz is, oh. Fritz is not in here. You stayed inside. In a world where your husband won't do a vlog with you unless you strong arm him to and then he doesn't say anything. In a world where your husband doesn't appreciate the work that you do to try to create a web presence. Because there isn't instant gratification. I got a new subscriber today. Woo! We're up to 17 now. Woo! It was Austin. Oh, of course. In a world where the husband just walks away. In a world where Padre gives us a scalding look. In a world where he slams the door as he gives you a look. All right. Good afternoon, and welcome back to the Whimsy Kettle Studios. My name is Linda Arnold. I'm a mostly self-taught potter who has a mild hot tea addiction and is on a quest to find the perfect teapot to be filled with the perfect tea. Joining me on my quest is my eldest son, Spencer. Hello, Spencer. Hello, Mother. How are you? Pretty excited. Excellent. Can you tell me why we have these four teacups in front of us? Well, as you can definitely see, we have not one, not two, not three, but cuatro teas to try today. All from Xena Tea. The, th the first one. Oh, oh, there's that. Like that yeah. All right, so the first one. They're not like the Republic of Tea. Okay, one. well then how about we do this? So the first one is a Raspberry Earl Grey. All right. There's the first one. Thank you. The second one, an Egyptian Mint Green. There is no smell to this. Now, okay, so, yeah, we got the first one. Okay, second one. Oh, God. It does not want to come, come on. We have an Egyptian mint green. Again, there's no smell. Third, an Ambrose white plum, white tea. Ambrosia. I've never seen that word before. <laughs> like what the Greek gods eat or drink? Ambrosia? Think back to Percy Jackson. I don't remember. All right, well, never mind. And the last one. An Italian chamomile herbal tea. No, at least you got chamomile, right? I love you. It smells like grass. All right. Uh, all right. So, they each have steep times. I uh, would, I'm going to just assume that they're all three minutes. Okay, so... The first and the last are three to five. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, two. I'm gonna reverse this word. It's, it's symmetric and it looks nice, but it's gonna confuse the hell out of me. Well, then we need to move the tens to line up with it. So, uh, let's put five minutes at the end and three minutes at the front. So we're going this way. So that that way, these two, the last two, can still be steeping as we have the first two. Okay, yes. So, so which order? So, so small white. Uh, so white glass purple, odd. Okay. So that way everything matches what's up front. Okay. Ooh. We really need to plan these out a little better, but. Eh. You know, we fly by the seat of our pants. It's spontaneous. So yeah, this uh, these these cups on the end here, odd odd AF shapes. Yes, we after we used them the first time, we said we'd never use them again. But since we're doing a, a four at once, I needed the teacups. Hey, okay, so hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Ooh, hey Siri, stop timer. All right, so our three minutes has expired. Our last two still have two more minutes to steep. 
Let's go ahead and pull our bags for our first two. All right, so the first one we're gonna try is the Egyptian Mint Green Tea. Uh, it has a light color, but it is darker than the honey, if you can see. I can smell the mint in it at this point. It is not overwhelming. That is just a standard mint tea. There's nothing noteworthy or exceptional about it. It's just a mint tea. I don't really like the, the mixture here. Yeah, I mean, you could get the same things from like Celestial Seasonings and have much less packaging to have to deal with. All right, this next one is our Ambrosia White Plum White Tea. Why would we cook a white tea for something? I don't know. For a white tea, it's a lot darker than I was expecting it to be. I am a little afraid that we oversteeped. That's okay. I really can't taste anything. It oh, just I'm tasting, tastes like hot water. I'm tasting something, but I don't know what oh. it is. Okay, I got something on the back end of it. It is floral. Um, I'm not, I, I mean. I don't know what that is. It's. All right, I'll, I'll so, have to so come for back this one. to this. It's not bad, but it's not something I could see myself drinking ever again. Um, let's see, our purple cup is the Italian chamomile. Give me a second, I'm going. There's a lot of particulate in this one. Yeah, lots of it. Um, it smells like grass. Ooh, smells like slightly burnt grass. Okay, that's a big no for me. Uh, that tastes like uh, cut grass smells. Um, I'm, not, I'm not tasting anything. Yeah, if I wanted to eat grass, I could just go outside and get me a handful of St. Augustine. Uh, I'm, I'm not enjoying that at all. I, I can't imagine ever having that again. Okay. And our last one is the... The Raspberry Earl Grey. Um, just smells like a black tea. Oh, I'm not enjoying that. That tastes pretty good. <coughs> we have core water down there if you need to drink it. Um, I actually kind of like this. Okay, so because Earl Grey's always have bergamot, that's what makes it an Earl Grey. However, I'm not tasting bergamot in this. I am not getting any orange notes in it at all. Um, I'm just getting raspberry and Earl Grey, which, well, I, which I'm liking. It's not a bad mixture. It's me. called raspberry. There's no raspberry. Well, I mean, it's yeah. it's organic fair trade black tea, organic essential oil of Italian bergamot orange, and organic natural flavor. So unless the raspberry falls under that natural flavors, I don't know, but I. I'm, right. I'm not getting so, raspberry. Well, um, so. so, will you be finishing any of these cups of tea? I'll more than likely finish the raspberry Earl Grey. Uh, the rest of these I'm not even going to touch. So I'm going to give it a sideways thumb for the green for the uh, green tea or the mint rather. A thumbs down for the plum, thumbs down for the other one, and a thumbs up for the raspberry. Okay, so I will give this. A thumbs down for the, the mint tea, a sideways thumb for the ambrosia tea, a thumbs down, two thumbs down for the grass tea, the chamomile, and a sideways thumb for the raspberry earl grey because it's just a standard black tea to me. I can't taste anything else right. for it. Oh, the... So good box, bad box. So there you go. All right. Well, thanks for coming by and having four cuppas with us this afternoon. We appreciate your time and uh, we'll catch you later.
Hey, if you liked our video, make sure that you give us a big thumbs up and uh, hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified uh, when we release new content, usually on Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays. If you did not enjoy the content, make sure you hit the thumbs down button twice and go ahead and subscribe anyway so that you can leave nasty comments in the, in the comments below. Um, if you enjoyed it and you want us to try a certain tea, leave it in the comments below and we'll see. We'll do our best to try to get a hold of the tea and give it a whirl. Um, thanks so much. We'll catch you later.